Today's question comes from going on site with customers and seeing their large projects. And they ask, we have thousands of files, not just two or three like your demos. Can WebStorm help manage them? Uh, the answer is uh, yes. And the way to do it is something like this. I'm just gonna open a few files here. If you're aware in these, uh, you know, when you're selecting files, you can hold down shift and hit down and up and select multiple files and hit enter to open a batch of files. Um, so what I'm gonna show here is bookmarking. So if you just hit F11 here, so that's just a random comment, F11 here and F11 here. We now have a list of bookmarks. They're all marked with that little check mark and you can see the check mark over there. And if I navigate away to these or navigate away from these in the file, if I just hit shift F11, so F11 makes bookmarks, shift F11 brings up the bookmark menu. You can see it has a list of my bookmarks and a preview over on the right showing uh, showing where they are. So I just go there, hit enter, or if I know the file name, I can type JQ to get to jQuery and manage my bookmarks that way. So shift F11 brings open the menu, uh, control I select all and delete, and they're all gone. Uh, if you were more of a uh, just jumping between quick little tasks and you can just use numbers and you can remember the numbers of where you assign them, uh, you can do control shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so say that one's one, that one's two, that one's three, uh, four, five. So those all have mnemonics as bookmarks instead of the check mark. So now I can just hit control one, two, three, four, five and jump between my files that way, anywhere in any file. Um, and I can also bring up a more, uh, even more mnemonics with letters. Uh, so control F11 will allow me to add a mnemonic based on a letter. So this one can be A. Uh, the only thing is to get to that mnemonic, you have to go shift F11, then type A. And that'll, that'll take you there. Uh, lastly, you can also add, if you have multiple files, so jQuery has multiple bookmarks, and I want this bookmark, want to search the book, this bookmark more quickly. Uh, so this one is handle HTML strings. I can actually uh, type handle strings here. Give it That gives it a description. It also allow me to type uh, handle. Um, the only thing is if you have mnemonics and you're searching at the same time, you have to be careful not to hit the A key or it'll jump to A. So if I type strings, you can see it will go there. If I try and type handle, type H, and but then A will jump me to the A mnemonic. Anyway, just something to watch out for. There's just a lot of options there. Um, so that's bookmarks. Again, Shift F11 will bring open that menu and you can add the descriptions or delete these files or uh, usually just select them all and delete them. Uh, you can also just kind of favorite groups of files. So I have all these files open and um, I want to get back to this group of files because I'm working on a specific task related to all of them. I'm gonna say uh, add all to favorites, create a list. Uh, we'll just say frameworks, that's it. And then if I just close all of them, um, Alt 2 will bring open this favorites uh, dialog or tool window. You can see it has all my favorites in here. I can enter and bring up any of them. Um, Again, search through them with the speed search. And then um, also just, again, select multiple ones, hit enter, and you can create multiple groups of favorites. And if you want to, you can export them to a task list or to a text list for some reason. I don't know, I'm not sure why you do that. Anyway, uh, moving along. So that's favorites, really simple um, to create and delete groups of favorites. And then last, but probably the most um, the most uh, useful for integrating with like your task management systems and whatnot is uh, creating tasks. So if I have a, right now I'm just on the default task, I'll just click open task. You can also get here from um, tools, tasks and context, switch task, open task. Uh, I usually just do it through this little thing. And I'll create a new task of um, stuff because I'm great at naming things. And this clears something called the context, which is the layout of uh, where all the, the windows had we uh, that we were working on. So I'll open all these files, and this will be my stuff context. So if I go back to my default task, which had nothing open, 
and then go back to my stuff task. Um, that'll open all the files I had open. And it won't just open all the files, it'll also maintain my, if I start splitting these files around um, for whatever reason, and you know, have, have them large, have a full size of multiple editors open on the screen, um, it'll maintain that as well. So let's see if I go back to the default task, it'll close everything, go back to the stuff task, um, it'll reopen everything, all of those files in, you know, in the layout that they were before. Uh, so that's, that's what, that's what contexts are. I'm not going to really go over how you integrate that with, um, your task management systems. Um, that's like, you can look, look that up in the help docs or I can do another video on that or whatever. But basically that's a, that's a good way of jumping through a bunch of files, uh, favoriting or bookmarks, favoriting, uh, tasks. And, uh, those allow you to kind of keep whatever you're currently working on, like the task, the, the current uh, train of thought you're currently working on in your editor, kind of ignore all the rest of the files. Um, there you go.